Give me a list of a few reasons why or ways that your spring break or summer vacation could be ruined. A few beach, beach vacation. Beach vacation. Well, obviously the main one would be a hurricane or rain or something like that would be ruined. Um, how about a how about nothing to eat? Nothing to eat. No food. Would, because you don't have a refrigerator. That would be a bad one also. Um, no place to stay because of whatever reason. So these are actually two events that have happened last year locally here in Destin. There was a post, I believe, on what's the Let's Talk Destin. Let's talk let's let's talk Destin. Mm -hmm. About a condo, short term rental, condo unit, and the family got here on vacation. They went to the grocery store, loaded up to get supplies, to come back to realize that the refrigerator didn't work. The downside to that also is if the entire location isn't run by a management company or something like that, sometimes it is hard getting in touch with the owners or whatever management company they are using for the rental and it could be hours or days before they get things resolved. I'm pretty sure it was Memorial Day weekend mm, and that worse. just added uh, even more challenges to getting a hold of somebody. Mm -hmm. But this is also in part why Senate Bill 280 is so important or at least they're saying it is, is because there needs to be a way to contact ownership. Granted, this contact is for those who aren't who aren't staying. They're not, you know, uh, guests. Mainly because of the rowdiness and the disregard to any HOA rules or anything like that by people who are renting these Airbnbs or whatever. But another one is what you mentioned mm -hmm. and that is not having anywhere to stay at all mm -hmm. and that sucks yeah especially when you have planned it you've paid for it you've booked it because a lot of time vacation isn't just paying for whatever lodging it's also paying for flights or paying for car rentals it's you know taking time off of work it's taking kids out of school if it's not over the summer it's you know boarding pets there's all these different things that all have to work cohesively together and if one thing messes up it's like, well, it's like dominoes or Jenga. You know, if you can't make it to the water park, meh. Yeah. You know, it kind of yeah. sucks. Yeah. But if you don't have anywhere to stay, a little different. The vacation's over. It's yeah. ruined. Yeah. And, you know, this is actually similar to what happened to Calypso Tower 3 right before the Super Bowl. And that Panama Saturday, City? Panama City Beach, that Saturday, folks got a notice to evacuate immediately because. They weren't allowed to stay there anymore because of the safety issue concern with the railings on the balconies. They got displaced, whether they were visitors or owner occupying the space, they had to go. Mm -hmm. And that, that it's, this is not good. We had it happen to us years ago in Pensacola Beach and we had a house booked and it was actually Navarre. It was booked. Oh, it was booked in Navarre. It was booked in Navarre. They let us know, I think, three weeks before, two two weeks before we were supposed to show up. They had termites. They, they had termites around the windows, and they had to basically close it down, and we couldn't use it. And I'm like, well, we've already have everything planned, so what do we do? And they said, well, we don't have anything in Navarre, but we can put you up in Pensacola, which we had already done, but it worked out because they gave us a... In, it, an, a better house at the same price when it should have been more expensive. So it we did. Worked it out. worked out that one time. It was November. Yeah. It, it was, was November. Yeah, it's a little it, different on spring break or in the summer. If it doesn't work out for you on your spring break or summer vacation, you are SOL. Mm -hmm. You are SOL. Yeah. Especially considering the accommodations. If you need a one bedroom, maybe you mm -hmm. get lucky. Two bedroom, still pretty good. If you need an entire house, I don't think it's gonna happen. Or if you need enough sleeping sleeping arrangements for four adults, two kids, or two kids, or two adults, four kids, because a two bedroom with nowhere to sleep for everybody is not a helpful solution to a problem. And it's against code. And it's against code. So uh, essentially, there's a story that just broke Clearwater, Florida, and some folks on spring break, or were supposed to be on spring break vacation, got the. Oh, uh, they got the notice that their Airbnb wasn't available. Like, sorry. Um, that was Clearwater. 
here in Destin, I believe, is where you sent me mm -hmm. that screenshot from. Yeah. A similar situation. Granted, they have some time to get it worked out because it's not until May, second week of May. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because the comments on the video we did earlier today, one of the comments I read says, Sarah's right. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Theoretically, the rich are those who own these properties. Mm -hmm. One of which we stayed in and it had to be a one and a half million dollar house. Mm -hmm. And we learned from the property manager that the owner of that house had four in that neighborhood. That they never visit, they never come to, they live in some other state, and they have six million dollars worth of real estate mm -hmm. in a community in just, one just rent out. Yeah. For profit. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Well, in this particular situation, in this instance, uh, we'll say the poor are the ones are are you and I, us renting from the rich. But in this particular situation, this person received a notice that a notification that their their rental, their Airbnb, was it Airbnb? No. Whatever rental they had. Through, oh, it was a special company. Mm -hmm. It was a special company, not Airbnb. Yeah. Won't be available because the owner sold it. The owner sold it. Mm -hmm. Why would the owner sell it? Well, it's because they were going to make more money on it than keeping it. Mm -hmm. The rich get richer. The new owner decided they don't want to rent it out. Why? Because they got plenty of money and they don't care. They don't need to rent it out. Mm -hmm. They bought this house and they want to use it themselves and live in it mm -hmm. or not live in it. And just it's their vacation house. Leave them alone. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. All because... The conversation we were having earlier about nobody being able to buy real estate or mm -hmm. buy a house anymore. And then this story here, one of the comment replies were they sold the house. Hang on. I want to I want to read it the way that it was written. Oh, the one I sent you. I'm beyond devastated. We booked this Airbnb for May 11th through 18th over two months ago, only to find out today that the owners, owners sold it on us. The offers they provided aren't suitable for our family and certainly not enough betting. We have four adults and two kids. Can anyone help us out or lead us in the right direction? This is our first ever vacation. And I feel like all this may have done is affect us finding any place within our budget. And if you're not part of the rich, and it's March, okay? It's March. There's a, there's a reason why we rented that house in Navarre, we tried to, mm -hmm. in November. Mm -hmm. It's because in the summer, it's just too expensive. Yeah. It's too expensive. But we wanted to give it a shot. We wanted to try it out to see if we wanted to live, move to live, live in Florida. And we had to do it in advance. The longer you wait, the more expensive it gets. Mm -hmm. So whenever you book this vacation for May, I'm sure it wasn't recently. It, it might have been last year. Mm -hmm. There was a reason for that. The pricing was better. But the closer you get to the, the deadline of a vacation, the higher the prices go. Yep. They, they know where they stand. Mm -hmm. Supply and demand. Low supply, high demand. They can jack those prices up. Which essentially will make you poorer as you will now have to find new accommodations with less advance notice mm -hmm. that will cost you more for the same, if not less. Because here's the thing, even if the company that that emailed them and said, hey, listen, you know, they sold it, blah, 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 here's some other options. If those other options cost more, you have to pay that difference. Those people who own those other units aren't going to do it for cheaper just because you got displaced. So you have to be willing and, ab and able, being the, the pertinent word here, to pay more for the same vacation you had already budgeted for. You also got to wait to get your money back. 
If you have to cancel, you have to wait to get your money back. You gotta wait to get your money back if and, you want to rebook. Like you gotta wait to get your money back. Yeah. In hopes of rebooking, because if you don't read fine print and somewhere along the fine print it said this is non-refundable no matter what the circumstances are, then you're well, up Well, yeah, creek. if it's non-refundable, then that just means you are bound by that company and they'll keep your money as a credit and you take what you can get. Yep. You take what you can get. Yep. And honestly, the way the housing market is going right now, I, I, could, I, could, I could easily see this happening more often. Whether it's Senate Bill 280... And government's injunction causing landlords and short-term rental owners to cease and desist mm -hmm. in the middle of vacation. Miami getting hit hard where they don't want tourism anyway because it's a rowdy crowd that destroys the city. Or people who have their, had their houses on the market for almost a year now probably finally getting a buyer to close given they realize that interest rates are not coming down, according to what the Fed just said, then ownership's going to change hands and they are probably not interested in buying these properties as the same investment that the poor are renting for their vacation if they can possibly get one or afford it. And it's going to create a huge rub and serious grief for those hoping, wishing for a, a fun summer or spring break vacation. I was thinking earlier when we decided to move to the beach at first, we contemplated getting a condo. Um, before we ever moved, we, th we thought about getting a condo and renting it out, Airbnb, VRBO style, whatever, um, and using it when we wanted it and using it as a, uh, re as a rental income, if you will. And then we said, you know what, why do that? Why not just move to the beach and go ahead and buy a condo and that's where we'll live? And we looked at a bunch of condos and the majority of them that we looked at would say you can it's already booked for all of this year and it'll make this much money and to me that was a detraction for two reasons one it means that there's been a lot of people in there previously and that place is probably tore up and you don't realize it from you know just visually looking at it but then also if we bought it i would have felt horrible saying well we're gonna buy it to live in so those people are all sol you know what I mean? Like out of luck and it is what it is. I would have felt really bad about it. So the more I looked at, we looked at condos and the more I thought about it that way, the more I did not want to be in a condo. I'm also going to be extremely interested on in how these property management companies are going to fare if we do see an increase of these short-term rentals being sold, not to be short-term rentals anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.